How bad food results in diabetes and how you can reverse it. Can your diet reverse diabetes? It's possible to reverse diabetes by changing what you eat, but there's a wrong way and there's a better way of achieving that goal. If you eat too many processed foods, being those food items which generally are packaged in a box, can or bag, you can become overweight or obese, leading to diabetes. Drastically cutting back on those foods, and instead enjoying healthy and delicious fresh fruit, vegetables, whole grains, nuts and seeds can reverse your overweight or obese condition and diabetes symptoms and help return you to better health overall. But, are you aware that there's a missing series of steps that most people are losing out on? In this video, the ninth in the series of the secrets of diabetes, you'll discover how bad food results in diabetes and how you can reverse it. Before then, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to access other helpful videos and then kindly click the grey bell icon to be notified of future videos being uploaded to the natural health guys channel number one can you reverse diabetes through your diet it's been proven time and again that making simple daily changes to the foods you eat and the liquids you drink can be more powerful than medication for reversing diabetes as the greek philosopher hippocrates is supposed to have said let my food be my medicine and my medicine be my food a poor diet is one of the leading causes of adding extra body weight and bringing on type 2 diabetes in the first place. If you eat the wrong foods, you have a greater chance of being overweight or obese than if you enjoy a healthy approach to nutrition. What is consistently regarded as the leading cause of diabetes? Being overweight is the main factor cited as responsible for developing diabetes. Simple logic shows that if an unhealthy diet is the biggest reason people develop a weight problem, and a weight problem is the most common cause of diabetes, then making a reversal from your poor diet should help reverse diabetes as well. That logic works up to a point, but there are two key factors that most so-called experts leave out, as follows. 1. There is no cure for type 2 diabetes, to reverse your diabetes condition is not the same as curing it. This means that when you do get your blood sugar levels back into balance, you and your body have to work hard to maintain those levels for the rest of your life. It's not the same as taking some medication to get rid of the problem, and then carrying on with your existing, self-destructive lifestyle. Part of the lifestyle change includes exercise. Depending on your age, physical flexibility, weight, desire and determination, the amount of exercise undertaken varies from person to person. As losing weight is highlighted as the main factor in reversing diabetes, most people fail, and so reversing type 2 diabetes is not the easy solution people are led to believe. So, as most people fail at losing weight, type 2 diabetes becomes a major problem for most. 2. Chronic inflammation. This is the root cause of all health problems in your body, because it impacts on your cellular health. When your cells get damaged by chronic inflammation, they leave themselves open to attack, for example, by cancer cells and free radicals, which effectively act as parasites. Those unhealthy cells grow and multiply to the point where they attack other parts of your body including your immune system, nervous system, hormones, and the physiological aspects, including your organs, skin, brain, bones, joints, blood and heart, and much, much more. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune condition resulting in your pancreas not producing sufficient insulin, whereas type 2 diabetes refers to your body not responding to insulin, hence the term insulin resistant. Either way, the root cause is chronic inflammation, where your body has reacted in a slightly different way with regard to how it controls the insulin hormone. So, as your pancreas controls the insulin hormone, which is adversely affected by chronic inflammation, the idea of just changing to a healthy diet and exercising is not providing the full picture of the overall problem of being diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. And neither is the process of changing to a healthy diet and exercising, the complete solution. As always, you're provided by the so-called experts with a part solution that does nothing more than tone down the symptoms. They don't provide the cure to the root cause, which is chronic inflammation. Number 2. How bad food turns into diabetes. As commonly seen in type 2 diabetes diagnoses. This is what typically happens to your body when you eat a poor diet that's full of processed food and undertake very little exercise. 
1. When too many poor quality calories and simple carbohydrates are consumed, insulin levels in your body rise. 2. This happens in order for the insulin to try and handle the fast-acting carbohydrates and high levels of poor quality calories you just ate. 3. When this occurs on a consistent basis, you begin to gain weight around your belly and midsection. 4. This happens because simple carbohydrates with little fiber and little nutrition are absorbed extremely quickly into your bloodstream. 5. They turn into glucose rapidly, and your body stores this glucose as fat for use as energy later. 6. Unfortunately, if you keep eating this type of diet, later never comes. 7. Your body stores and stores, but uses little, as energy requirements rarely exceed the supply. 8. You are always giving your body too many simple carbohydrates to deal with, so your insulin is always playing catch up. 9. Eventually, you damage your cell's ability to respond to insulin properly. 10. This leads to even more weight gain, high blood sugar levels, and often a diagnosis of prediabetes or type 2 diabetes. 11. An unfortunate side effect of elevated levels of insulin is increased hunger and lower energy levels. 12. You end up overeating and are even more tired and fatigued than before, so you don't feel like experiencing much physical activity. Take careful note of, 11, and, 12, now do you see why people easily fail the thousands of diets that get promoted in an effort to lose weight? Most people don't have the mental strength to resist the hunger pangs, and so they're never going to lose the weight in the first place. And physical activity and exercise alone is not going to help you lose weight unless you overcome your poor eating habits and mental weakness. Yes, frequent and regular physical activity is a top recommendation along with a healthy diet, for preventing and reversing diabetes. But unless you get your cellular health into balance first, most people will, and do, fail. And this is what you'll find out in the next video, entitled, Diabetes, 6 Key Ways to Get Your Cellular Health in Balance. We hope you found this video, how bad food results in diabetes and how you can reverse it, helpful and of interest. So please feel free to share with people you think will also find this video worth watching. And don't forget to leave a comment or ask a question in the comments section below this video. To get more videos like this one, why not become an exclusive subscriber of this channel? By clicking on the subscribe button in the bottom right corner of this video, and then click the grey bell icon to ensure you get notified of when the next video is uploaded. If you'd like more information about the many aspects of diabetes for you or anyone you know who suffers with prediabetes, or type 1 or type 2 diabetes, check out the other videos in this series by clicking on the end screen coming up. And finally, many thanks for watching.